Hello, welcome to the Daily Devotion. I'm Kathy Morris, pastor of the Dixon United Methodist Church. We are in the season of Easter. It is a time for us to reflect on the mystery and meaning of Christ's resurrection. Christ's defeat of death does not just have meaning for Jesus, it has meaning for us as well. He has set us free from the power of death. In our Bible reading for today, the Apostle Paul offers words of encouragement to the Christians in the city of Corinth. They were struggling with the challenges of this life, challenges that were causing them to, to have doubts, doubts about the, the power and the truth of Christ. Paul reminds them about the eternal promise we have been given in Christ. I'm reading from the second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 4, verses 16 through 18, from the New Revised Standard Version. So we do not lose heart, even though our outer nature is wasting away, our inner nature is being renewed day by day. For this slight momentary affliction is preparing us for the eternal weight of glory beyond all measure, because we look not at what can be seen, but at what cannot be seen. For what can be seen is temporary, but what cannot be seen is eternal. John Henry Newman was a church leader in the 19th century. While he was influential in his lifetime, his thoughts on and his writings about Christian faith have received even more attention since his death. John Henry Newman had this to say about the implications of Christ's resurrection for his own life. I look to thee, my Lord Jesus, and think of thy most holy body, and I keep it before me as the pledge of my own resurrection. Though I die, as die I certainly shall, nevertheless I shall not forever die, for I shall rise again. In your prayer time, reflect. Reflect on your own resurrection. Reflect on that promise that Christ has given to us of life that continues beyond our death. Give thanks for the gift of eternal life that has been given to you in Jesus. When you are ready, stand up. And may this be a sign, a sign of your belief that in Christ's power, you will rise again.